In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace gave increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favour on those who have chosen and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles The rulers, elders and scribes were astonished at the assurance shown by Peter and John, considering they were uneducated laymen, and they recognised them as associates of Jesus. But when they saw the man who had been cured standing by their side, they could find no answer. So they ordered them to stand outside while the Sanhedrin had a private discussion. What are we going to do with these men? they asked. It is obvious to everybody in Jerusalem that a miracle has been worked through them in public, and we cannot deny it. But to stop the whole thing spreading any further among the people, let us caution them never to speak to anyone in this name again. So they called them in and gave them a warning on no account to make statements or to teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John retorted, You must judge whether in God's eyes it is right to listen to you and not to God. We cannot promise to stop proclaiming what we have seen and heard. The court repeated the warnings and then released them. They could not think of any way to punish them, since all the people were giving glory to God for what had happened. The Word of the Lord I will thank you, Lord, for you have given answer. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my saviour. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. I will thank you, Lord, for you have given answer. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me up. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. I will thank you, Lord, for you have given answer. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Saviour. I will thank you, Lord, for you have given answer. Alleluia, Alleluia! This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Having risen in the morning on the first day of the week, Jesus appeared first to Mary of Magdala, from whom he had cast out seven devils. She then went to those who had been his companions and who were mourning and in tears and told them, but they did not believe her when they heard her say that he was alive and that she had seen him. After this, 
he showed himself under another form to two of them as they were on their way into the country. These went back and told the others, who did not believe them either. Lastly, he showed himself to the eleven themselves while they were at table. He reproached them for their incredulity and obstinacy because they had refused to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Blessed Easter, I would like to share with you around this time, in the middle of the Easter octave, I always enjoy listening to an Easter song called Alleluia is our song. It gives me a sense of joy, hope and meaning of life if I think through each verse. Today's first reading is evidence that we are called the Easter people. And so, Alleluia is our song. In the reading, there is nothing to prevent Peter and John from proclaiming what they have seen and heard. They share the truth and the love of God that brings joy, hope and meaning to everyone who listens to them. Of course, they were also contested by rulers, elders and scribes, but they were not afraid. All this happened only when they testified with their own eyes and the experience of the risen Christ when he appeared to them after his resurrection. Jesus blamed them for their lack of faith and their insistence on believing. In doing so, he told them to go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. My dear friends, in our lives sometimes, we need somebody to challenge us and motivate us to wake up from our sleep and worldly fantasy. That somebody is the one we have called as the Holy Spirit to guide and enlighten our minds and hearts in search of the truth and love of God. No matter how hard and challenging our lives, we always bring and share God's love and hope with the whole world. For instance, we help to look after our environment. We share our food with our neighbors. We treat the poor like our family, and we show our patience when we are stressed. This is how we proclaim the good news of Christ to every creation. And just remember, Alleluia is our song. So let us share our joy, our hope, and the meaning of life to everyone. With confidence, we raise up all our praise to God in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in the flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.